Alright guys, now we get to mount the gas tank. Now, for some reason, if you don't know what a gas tank is, it's pretty much a big tank that holds gas, if you couldn't have figured that out. So, in order to mount the gas tank, just go ahead and screw it into four places onto your uh, frame right here. Now, this is a really simple gas tank. It only holds a couple gallons. But uh, bigger gas tanks, they usually have other stuff built in, for example. In a car, it would have a uh, fuel sensor built in, so whenever you're looking at your dashboard, you can see how much fuel you have left. And uh, the bigger ones also have something called baffles. And baffles are little, they're like kind of like plates inside, and it just keeps the gasoline from uh, sloshing around whenever you're going over bumps and around corners and stuff. But this one, I don't know if there's any baffles inside, I didn't look, but uh, it's really simple. Just holds gas and then pumps it into your engine. So here is our gasoline tank, perfectly hooked up, two bolts on each side. But before we can actually start getting gas to the engine, we need to hook up two hoses because, of course, this isn't Wi-Fi where you can just take gas and have it magically transfer into your engine. What you need to do is you need to hook up, first of all, the main fuel line. Now, usually two main fuel lines or two hoses are hooked up to the gas line. And you can tell which one is the main fuel line because it has a fuel filter right there, which is of course responsible for getting any crummy crap out of the gas. And this one right here says oil outlet, if you guys can't see. And where this is gonna go is the top right here. So that's where the main fuel line goes. Now the second one is for vapors and it says, let's see if we can see it. Vacuum connection, there we go. And if you can't tell by the little diagram, this one goes on the intake valve right below it. So again, the vacuum goes on the bottom, which is responsible for capturing unwanted vapors. And the main fuel line goes on the top in the main, the job of the main fuel line hose is to take the gas from the gas tank and pump it into the engine. So let's go ahead and hook up these two hoses right now. Now make sure your hoses are really clean. And actually, whenever you have hose clamps, you usually want to use pliers, but these ones, I found that they're pretty much the easiest way to uh, get them on is just to use your fingers. Perfect size. So go ahead and plug this one into your top. And if you have trouble, if you just try to push it on all the way, what you can do is take one of your fingers and twist it while the other one pushes it on. Now slide these, there you go, right up to the tip. So this is pretty much a clamp just to make sure that it doesn't come loose. And now you need to do the same thing with the vacuum line which says vacuum right on it. So make sure this is clean. You probably want to clean it with a wet a washcloth or something just to make sure. But go ahead and with one finger twist or with one hand twist and the other hand push it on and it should be good. Take your clamp, slide it on and check it out. Did I say check it out? Like a Canadian? Now this gas tank is good to go. Fill it up with gas. Make sure that you don't have any leaks. And, uh, well, you're ready to move on to the next step.